morning guys hope you're keeping fine so today i'm presenting a very new strike result and offered by roberto fontana one of my good friends who made it and basically the, he told me that the challenge for me will be to hone it it's very unusual shape as you can see and i have no clue how i'm gonna be able to do that so he did a first bevel on it, but it's only a starting point. And I, I would prefer to redo it myself, just to make sure I'm starting with a, a good progression. And we'll use my uh, Shapton 1K. Now, I have no clue how I'll be able to hone this one. Uh, as you can see, the the, the shape is very unusual and uh, the scales are just above the blade so it's touching the the stone when I'm putting the blade flat on it so I will use my marker just to make sure I'm okay and I will try to do it without touching the scale first So it's really a challenge and I think he, he had fun telling me this one and seeing how I could handle it. So I'm not that confident with this move to be honest. And on top of that, as you can see, the blade has a smile shape, so you really need to play with the wrist. Okay not super happy with this so i'm gonna put now the tape protective tape on the scales and use the standard method with the scales flat on the stone and i check with roberto who confirmed that it was how he did the bevel tricky seems to work and it was good to put the tape on the scales don't want to scratch them. So now I need to play really with the wrist to make sure that I'm keeping a good edge on the smile. Not that easy, I have to say. Probably the most difficult razor I had to hone so far. You really have to pay attention to your move. Now, let's have a look at the bevel. Well, considering my struggle, it's not too bad. Cool. So, let's clean the Shapton 1K and move to the next one which is the Shapton 5k I really took the habit now of raising a small slurry on this Shapton it's working really well for me so I'll do this right now with my Atoma 600 diamond stone so we'll do again some back and forward quickly to then do the usual X stroke. I'm using two hands on this razor because really need to ensure that the, the, the smile gets perfectly done on the blade. So you really have to curve your move. All right, let's have a look. Yeah, perfect. Now we're gonna move to the next and last base stone. And this is my Nakayama LV5++ uh, hard J-nut stone. And first, as usual, slurry stone we're gonna use, Asano Nagua uh, Tenju.
The good thing also with the slurry is that you can really follow your move on the stone and you can really see if your moves are, are correct or not by looking at the, the slurry moving on the stone. And now you can see the slurry is moving well on the stone, so we're fine. But you really can't rush with this blade. Well, don't get me wrong, it's a truly a piece of art. Like he did an amazing job by forging this uh, razor, but I'm really not used to to hone such shape. I have no clue also how we use it to shave. I put it on my face uh, just to make a test and I can't see the blade actually when I'm handling it. When I'm handling it, it's, it's weird. Now, the next slurry stone will be the Asano Nagura Mechiro, which is around the 10k grid. Okay, that's it. So Roberto used a very hard carbon steel for the blade. So it, it's not that fast but to, to hone the blade, but hopefully the edge will last uh, quite long once properly done. Yeah, the slurry was a bit thick, so I diluted it with water. And now the final Asano, the Asano Nagura Coma. So the coma is on 12k grid. Fairly hard slurry stone, so no need to put any pressure. Just a bit of time. So the, the, this, this, this razor is really between at a camisori fixed blade and a standard one, like it's just very unusual shape, but super good looking. Okay, now we're gonna rinse the stone, and the last stone I will use is a uh, Nakayama Kita as a Tomonagua. So that would be on 15k, great. No pressure, just will raise the light slurry. If you put pressure on your slurry stone, they will break and you will have bits on the, on the stone, which will scratch your blade. So it's just taking your time to raise the slurry without any pressure. And again, always watch the slurry to see that it's moving well on the best on. Yep. Curving the, the wrist quite well here to keep the smile. That's it. Let's make sure we don't cut ourselves while drying the blade everywhere. As it's um, still with quite a light, quite a high um, percentage of carbon, it needs to be fully dry, otherwise it's gonna rust. So here is our last final edge. I'm quite happy to be honest, <laughs> looking at the struggle to hone this blade, it's not too bad at all. Now, the next step will be to do a test shave, which I didn't do yet, but that'll be interesting. Um, let's remove the, the protective tape. Again, make sure that you're not cutting yourself. Clean the blade, you see that? Very nice razor, very unusual. It's like a 
Rays are coming from space. Superb. Really superb. I'm hesitating. Maybe I, I, I might hang it on a wall. It's really nice looking. And so again, that was made by uh, my friend Roberto Fontana, based in France. And he did truly an amazing work on this blade. Hope you liked it. If you've seen trezors like this already, let me know. And do not hesitate to comment. It's always great to learn from, from you. And hope you liked the video. Thanks, guys. Bye now.